my life coaching course, as I'm, I'm starting this in beta, currently it's all done through Patreon. If I ever run into payment problems or if Patreon's taking too much money, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll just make, make a, a, a payment system available at one of the websites that I have for less money. But currently I'm starting with Patreon and there's only a limited number of spaces. $50 a month, you write 300 words and I, whatever topic you want, maybe you need to improve your grammar skills. I'm a writer. Maybe you're trying to invent your business. I understand supply chain because I lived in Taiwan 10 years. Maybe you're trying to deal with your, your friendship, personal issues. I can't solve everything, but I know some things. I might be able to give you some pointers on that. Maybe you've got questions about Bible and eternity and religion and where we're going to go when we die. I majored in Bible in college. I've written a 90,000 word book on theology. I might be able to give you answers to religious questions, but I don't believe in religious establishments. I don't, I don't like Sunday morning. I mean, I'm, I'm wearing the Sunday morning skate. I mean, that, 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 that's, that's my shirt, man. Look, I skate Sunday morning. That, that, that's, a I mean, Sunday morning's a time to be productive, not, not go to religion stuff. The, the God is everywhere. The Bible can be carried everywhere. People can meet together everywhere. I mean, re religion, religion makes people avoid eating certain foods at certain times for no real practical reason. It's all about spiritual spirits and eternity and the afterlife and heaven and hell and whatever. Like that's weird, man. Jesus came into our humanity and, and he broke a lot of the religious customs. He, he kept, he kept, he obeyed the Bible, but he broke the religious customs. A lot of religious stuff is not necessary. Even Jesus believes so. Even the religious establishment, the tradition, Jesus broke. I, so I, you can't argue Christianity and yet keeping a, a tradition that's, that doesn't have a practical value. I don't believe in that. You know what? I might be able to coach you through that. In fact, I'll even say, you know, I don't look at porn. But it's not for religious reasons. It's because I don't want to practice for divorce. Because I look at people that are divorced and they're not really happy. And I certainly don't want to want to be practicing for a broken relationship where the husband and wife are lusting about other people constantly. And that, that kind of doesn't help the relationship go so well. When you're really, truly, only sexually in love with this other person only, that's going to make a lot of things happier. I don't, I don't, I don't look at porn, but it's not, it's not for some religious moral thing. It's because I want to be happy in life. And that's what morals are really actually about. And I wrote a book about that called Watched and Pray 365. You can read it online, get it in ebooks, even paperback. You might need personal coaching with that. Whatever, whatever you want to talk about. $50 a month, 300 words. That's going to force you to narrow down your ideas. I will write a quality review. I might edit it. I'll give you an opinion. I will send it back to you. It will be powerful. And because you're paying $50 for it, you also get a shirt, whatever the current shirt is, every three months. And you also get to be involved in Discord discussions. There are closed Discord groups available in Patreon. You can participate in those. But because you're paying $50 a month for this, my goodness... You're going to take that seriously. Now, then there's also $100 a month. That's a 12-minute conversation with me and 600 words. That seems like not a lot. But you will learn to make your writing and your time potent. Think about this. If you can't cover an hour worth of discussion in 10 minutes, how are you ever going to do a, what takes most people a lifetime to accomplish that in 10 years? I mean, if, if you're serious about having a better life, then every decade, maybe two, you need to be achieving what it takes most people a lifetime to. If that's not your goal, I'm not for you. But if you want to get stuff done in your life, you need to learn how to make 12 minutes 
worthwhile. And if you're paying $100 for 600 words, I will edit it. If it's got English grammar problems, I will edit it and send it. I will write, and, and I will also write a review. Whatever's needed in that, whatever it really needs, whatever topic you're addressing, I will do a thorough review and send it back. The same with a 300 word one, just the same. But for the $100 one, that writing will come before our conversation. And then for the homework follow-up, I'll probably give you pointers on what you could write about next. Or you don't have to, you can change the topic, but that will set the pace. So we're not going into 12 minutes without having a background. We're talking about your paper you've already set the tone for, and I've already written a response to you. So we're, we're talking about, I mean, that's, that's a powerful 12 minutes because it's had 1,200 words, maybe more, written into it already. Learning how to make good use of your time is absolutely necessary. And there's nothing like having to pay through the nose just to get a little bit of time to motivate you to control your own time. $500 a month, you get one hour with me. But that's not $500 an hour for me. That's only $250 an hour for me because I've already reviewed a 3,000 word paper that you've written. I would edit the entire thing if it's got grammatical problems. I will also write a review and send it back to you before our hour discussion. Lawyers charge $700 an hour. People hire them all the time. There's nothing, nothing like paying good money for you to teach yourself to use your time wisely. And as I've said in the previous video talking about this, I am not going to waste your time or mine, frankly, in your 12 minutes or your one hour discussion telling you something I could tell someone else. If we get to a point in conversation where I can tell you something I can tell someone else, I will make a note. I will tell you, I'm going to make a short video explaining this and I'll email you the link. In fact, I won't even take that long to say it because you know what I'm talking about. I'll add a video on this and we'll move on and learn to be potent and efficient with our time. One of the biggest wasters of time in a business, well, well is time. I, I was um, going to visit uh, an organization and talk with some people there. And they decided to have three people from their organization meet with me at one time. I couldn't understand why they would do that to themselves. Why would they take their man hours? I mean, that's if they were paying those people $20 an hour, which they're not, probably more like 40, that's $120 an hour they were paying to have non one on one time with me. Wouldn't it be better for each of those people to meet with me individually? So then they're paying $40 an hour for one-on-one -on -one time. But that organization didn't understand that financial concept. Meetings in a company are incredibly expensive because you're paying all those employees to sit and listen to the same thing. That you better be a rich company if you have company-wide meetings at all. And if you're not playing your employees, if you're, not, if you're not paying them, you're irritating them because you're forcing them to go to a meeting that they're not getting paid for. Paying good money to have a conversation like that is going to teach you to make awesome use of your time. That's what I'm doing in my life coaching. 